record on this computer. Hello, today uh, we're delighted to be here with Wendy Garisco of the Garisco Group, uh, which is a, a publicity company, and they are currently working with Etruscan Press on publicity for our forthcoming book, nonfiction book with, by Colin McCann with Diane Foley called American Mother. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you, Phil. Delighted to be here. Uh, Wendy, we're going to be talking a little bit about, you know, bringing uh, potential uh, Wilkes uh, interns to help. And you've had one this term, mm -hmm. uh, Laura Hayden. Um, tell us a little bit about what you do. So what we do for our clients is try to get them earned media. There's, as you may know, several different kinds of media. There's owned media, which is what's on your website. There's social media that you're putting out. There's earned media, which is when a newspaper or television show interviews you. And there's paid media, which is advertising. So I concentrate on the earned media space. Um, my background is that I was at CNN for 12 years. I was a director of the guest booking department um, and I trained baby anchors. So I, I literally know the, the <laughs> TV booking world from the inside out. And this book is so special to me because Jim Foley, you know, obviously was a journalist and his death just <clears throat> was a profound moment for journalists around the world. And so I'm thrilled to be helping with this effort to get the word out and get these books in people's hands. Um, Wendy, what are some of the challenges that you face when you try to take a book and bring it to the public in, and, and, and get it out there? What are the biggest issues and challenges? Sometimes, it, it, sometimes a challenge can be that we don't know what other books are being released at the same time. And there may be some blockbuster coming that everybody's fighting over and we have no idea about that. So we don't really know who the competition is until we get to that pub date. Um, it can be that. It can be the news cycle. If the news cycle is not favorable, if people don't want to talk about what, you know, the message of the book, um, that can be a challenge. Um, and I think really it's just, and this is where our last intern really helped. It's the information management. There's so much information, so many different journalists that, we have to reach out to events-based people, all that. And Laura really did a great job of organizing that for us. So we're in a good space from that. Now it's just, we have to eat the elephant one bite at a time. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. We're, we're drinking great. from a fire hose every day. <laughs> that, that That's funny because when um, my animal in, image was from the little prince, if you remember the picture yeah. of the the uh, snake that eats the elephant. Yes. Know, with, this, uh, with this little press that's you know taking on this huge project. <laughs> So that's great about eating the elephant bite by bite. Um, so, and what would an intern, what do you anticipate? Well, for, for first in the context of American Mother, as Laura was working exclusively on that project, uh, but also uh, for the spring, the book is scheduled for publication in March. Um, what would, what are the tasks that are, that an intern would, would take on in the spring? A lot of it is just going to be outreach. Um, you know, we're trying to reach the event people, the the press clubs, the journalists, whatever. So a lot of it is just all hands on deck trying to get that message out. And then, you know, if you get a bite, if you put the bait in the water and you get a bite, you can pass it on to us and we'll, you know, close the deal and handle all logistics and things like that. But it really, we're, in the fall, we had the luxury of time because we had a long runway until the publication date and that runway is getting shorter and shorter. So... <laughs> We and and I think it also takes a creative mind. If you're hopefully a news junkie and you're you're reading an article, you think, oh wow, there's a tie-in to American Mother there. Let's let's contact that journalist. And so it's thinking outside of the box and just finding any way to work this book into a media outlet's rundown. Okay, and I guess we could expect that at launch, which would is March fifth. At that point, the publicist's work is that is done. Is that the case, or is there more? No, because there's going to be people that maybe we haven't reached, and they're going to see, you know, Diane and Column on a show, and they're going to think, "Oh, I want that too." And so then there's a lot of incoming requests after that, um, and we want to keep it alive. We don't want to just, you know, at March sixth go, "Okay, we're all done." Right. You right. know, right. you want to keep that going. And there's Mother's Day is coming. It's a great hook for American Mother and you know, all kinds of things as we go through the year to keep that book alive. 
I see. Um, so an intern, what kind of skills would you say that, that you would value in, in somebody working in publicity? Communication skills, um, curiosity, um, and really to, most of what our job is, is matchmaking. So we find the outlet that's going to be interested in this. We're not going to pitch this to a children's show. You know, we're not going to pitch it to Scholastic Magazine. But, you know, if you're, if you can think of places that maybe media that you consume that you think might be a fit, you know, you could see um, a, a, an interviewer talking about this book. Um, just any any brainstorming ideas are welcome. Okay, we're not curing cancer. We're we're matchmaking. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and of course, you're working on numerous projects. Mm -hmm. um, would there be an opportunity for an intern to branch out beyond American Mother and work on some of the other projects that you have on hand possibly, right now? Possibly. I have a children's book author starting in January, and maybe we could work something there because it's a really interesting book. She works in the diversity, inclusion, and DEI, whatever DEI Inclusive, yeah. Equity yeah. and inclusion. Yes, that's it. Thank you. And she's written a children's book about it. And so it's it's called Lolly the Left Out Lobster. And <laughs> Lolly washes ashore one day and she's never seen creatures with legs and forests and everything. And they're not very welcoming to her. And then the dogs come along and save the day and get her back to the water. So just like real life. Exactly. Um, <laughs> very good. Um and and in terms, you know, if I were if I were a young man, Wendy. And uh, I was looking to get into publicity mm -hmm. as a career. Mm -hmm. And I was going to take this internship and say, you know, what what kinds of opportunities are there in terms of career advancement? Well, there's, you know, jobs with a publisher like you. There, Most publishers have an in-house PR department or communications team or something. Um, then there's big PR agencies that handle, you know, huge clients. And then there's little boutique agencies like mine that are scrappy and like to just get out there and, and do everything we possibly can. So there's all kinds of opportunities out there, even with universities, there's communications departments at universities. Right. So. And what would you say is your biggest satisfaction of this job? I love making clients' dreams come true. That is literally my favorite thing in the world. The downside of this career is that there is so much rejection. You put out the best pitch in the world and nobody responds. And you're like, oh. So when you do get a response and you do get that booking, it is the adrenaline rush of all time. And I had my favorite client dreams come true story is I was working with an attorney in Los Angeles and I got him booked on entertainment tonight. And he called me afterwards and he had a little catch in his throat and he said, I just have to tell you how meaningful that interview was. I was like, you were talking about Brad and Angelina, like how meaningful <laughs> could it be, you know? And he said that he was an immigrant from Chile. And when he and his brother were little, they used to sit in front of the TV and watch entertainment tonight and think someday we're going to live that LA lifestyle. We're going to be rubbing elbows with the stars and all that stuff. And there he was an attorney in Hollywood on entertainment tonight. So he said it was a full circle moment for him. And that, that was probably seven years ago, and I'm still riding the high from that one. <laughs> it was great. Do do you find that it's uh, that that representing authors is different, for for instance, from representing say other kinds of clients who are media people? What are the what are the particular issues that come up for you with book authors? Um, I can't do very much for fiction authors um, because my space is news. Um, but I think what's different with my firm compared to firms that only work with authors is we really try to work our clients into the news cycle so that, yes, they come on for the, the book review interview and we talk only about the book, but then there are themes from the book that are relevant to ongoing news cycles. And so they can come back again and again and talk about whatever's in the news and mention the book every time. So a lot of Strictly book publicists is they check the box, got on that show, got on that magazine, and they're done. They walk away. It's one and done. And we try to keep it alive. Try to keep it alive over several. So it's really about relationships. <laughs> it is. Absolutely. And and in that, that's very much, I think, the same uh, thing I find in publishing <laughs> is that, you know, being able to uh, trust and nurture right. long-term relationships is uh, yeah. is so important. 
Thank you so much, Wendy. Uh, we've so much enjoyed working with you and Gina and your group, and uh, we're grateful that you're part of our Wilkes program. Thank you. Thank you. I'm enjoying it immensely.